Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 425. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 423 to 430. And this trick somebody asked about array syntax inside of functions. I do occasionally do a video and I use array syntax and he just said, hey, what, the, what are the list of functions that can use array syntax? I just have seven examples here, or large, small, VLOOKUP, LOOKUP, MATCH, and INDEX. And uh, we'll do a few of these and see how array syntax works. And once it gets tiring, um, typing it all in by hand, I'll show you a quick way to, to enter it without typing it. Now, OR function. OR can take two logical tests and uh, if one of them comes out to be true, then OR will deliver a true to the cell. So let's try this OR. And all we want to say is, are, is this cell here equal to Oakland or Berkeley? Well, we can click on the cell. And instead of doing two logical tests, we can just say, uh, that cell is that cell equal to, and then an array syntax. Arrays are always contained in curly brackets. So we open an array with a curly bracket. If it's text, we have to type it in. Hopefully, I can spell it right. Um, and then the elements in an array are separated by either a comma for column or semicolon for row. Now, it doesn't matter in this particular situation. We'll see a situation in just a moment where it does matter. So all I'm saying is Berkeley or Oakland, those are the two elements in the array. And then close curly bracket, that is the array close parentheses. Now, we don't need to use Control shift enter And all of these examples I'm going to show are not array formulas. They're just using array syntax. Array simply means um, some elements together. OK, it looks like I forgot um, something here. I, I never accept these. I click No and then go find the problem myself. Um, oh, I forgot the uh, close parentheses on Oakland. Control Enter, and then I double click and send it down. So right, you could see that that or, if it sees um, Berkeley or Oakland, it'll deliver a true. And that's better to use an or like that. It's better than to have two columns, one for Oakland and one for Berkeley. And obviously, uh, if you were doing uh, just two elements, you could just use two uh, logical tests. But if you had like you know, 30 you were checking, that'd be a hassle to put 30 logical tests. All right. Um, so large is another one that you can use with array syntax. So I'm going to put large. Uh, it, it asks for an array of values. So I'm going to highlight all these values. And I'm going to say, please give me the three largest. So I'm going to open um, curly bracket, 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, close curly bracket, close parentheses. Now right now, this wouldn't make any sense. But if I put a sum around it, the large will deliver the three largest values using this array syntax in its k uh, um, argument there. Now I'm actually going to scoop this out, control C, and then hit Enter. And so there, there are the three largest values added. Now I'm going to paste that here. And watch this. I'm going to double click that, that large. Double clicking formula elements will highlight just the um, element, just like double clicking the cell reference would highlight just that cell reference. And I'm going to put small. So small, it works with small too. And small is just, hey, give me the three smallest and add them up. A v lookup. Now let's come over here and we want to categorize the sales right here. Um, either as unacceptable, below, average, average, above average, good, great. And VLOOKUP will look up. Actually, let me hide these. Right click, hide. So now these uh, uh, next um, three examples, I'm just going to use the same example. We want to categorize sales. So 411 should come out to be a good. Categorization. So I'm going to use VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. Hey, what do you want to look up? I'm going to look up this value right here, comma, the table array. Remember, this is about syntax. I'm going to highlight this right here. Um, right now, we have cell references there, but we can use array syntax to not waste real estate in our spreadsheet. You highlight it and hit the F9 key. Notice that we see commas and semicolons. That comma is for column. That semicolon is row. And do you see that? Zero over to another comma column 
unacceptable down to a row 100 and that's exactly what we see here Tr comma to get over to unacceptable text is always in quotes semicolon to get down to the next row so that's just the table array comma and then we want to retrieve something from the second column so we put that there close parentheses so VLOOKUP can also handle um, I'm gonna copy all of that right there control C VLOOKUP can handle arrays double click and send it down uh, lookup uh, if you use lookup not log lookup and lookup uh, needs the lookup value and then the uh, lookup array right here because we're just going to use that one I'm going to control V and the way lookup works is if there are more rows than columns it'll do vertical lookup if there's more columns than rows then it will do horizontal lookup so that's all we need for this one right here and by default it only does approximate uh, lookup so that'll work and lookup will handle array. Actually, lookup will handle real arrays, control shift enter arrays, but we're just talking about this array syntax to house array arrays of values. So that'll work. And sure enough, um, index and match will work too. So equals index. Actually, we'll see three different ways to do the same thing. The array uh, that we're looking up is uh, this right here. So if you have it to the if you have your lookup values to the left, you can't use either one of these, so you have to use uh, index and match. I'm going to hit F9. And that'll be our lookup array, comma, and then the uh, row number, we're going to have to use match. And this is where we have to go back over and look up our, our sales value right there comma and then the lookup tape the the thing we're returning is this um oh I did this backwards luckily we can do that the in the thing we're look oh no that's what we want to return to the thing we're looking up here is uh this right here because this value needs to be looked up here so we're going to, and I'm going to do the same trick where I hit F9 that's the value comma and we're not going to use zero for exact we need one to tell it to look up uh, just like lookup or uh, VLOOKUP was looking up an approximate match where it finds the first biggest one and jumps back to the next row so I'm gonna put a one here close parentheses on the uh, match close parentheses on the index and control enter so there we have it we saw index match uh, lookup VLOOKUP and if I unhide these, right click unhide, we saw or, small, and large. All of those functions, and there are some other ones that also can handle arrays, but those are certainly the most common. All right, we'll see you next trick.